Hey guys, Dean here from fitnessnetworking.com and today we're gonna to be looking at the Blake treadmill test. Okay, so the brake treadmill test was set up to test a person's VO2 max. This is great because it is so simple to perform. It can be done by anyone, either beginner or advanced. And it's the perfect test to do if you're just starting off in the gym. Okay, so what is the VO2 max? The VO2 max just gives us an indication of how fit you are at this current level. And this will allow us to track it in the future to see how you're doing, see how your body adapts to the exercise and see where you need improvements. Okay, so how do we perform this test? To perform it, all you're gonna need is a treadmill. And this is just gonna be an incline walk, okay? So you're gonna have a fixed speed of 3.3 miles per hour on the treadmill, and you're gonna keep that consistent throughout. You're then gonna walk casually for the first two minutes. After the first two minutes, you're gonna increase the gradients by 2%, so up to number two. And then after that, every 60 seconds, you increase the incline by 1% or at one level each time. You're gonna keep this going until you feel physically tired or you want to stop or you're starting to become out of breath or you're gonna reach your maximum heart rate. This is around 220 minus your age and that will give you a general idea of where you're at. Okay, so once you've got that treadmill set to 3.3 and you increase it up over time, check out what your time is and what score you get. We're gonna break it down, we're gonna pop those numbers into the VO2 max formula and we're gonna get that result. Okay guys, so once you've completed the test and got your time, we then have to put it into the equation to get that VO2 max. You're first gonna start off by breaking it down into a fraction. So this is just gonna come down to the seconds portion. So you can see for an example here, if we take 10 minutes and 30 seconds, this is gonna become 10.5. If it was 10 minutes and 15 seconds, it would become 10.25 and so on. Once you've broken that down, we're then gonna pop it into the formula. As you can see, we have two different formulas. We got one for male and one for female. So let's use the example of the 10.5 here. If we look at the male category, all you have to do is take out your calculator, put in 1.444, then you're gonna put in bracket, 10.5 bracket and you're going to put a plus sign and it's going to be 14.99 and that's going to give you a VO2 max of 30.15 and then if you are a female you can do it the exact same way slight change in numbers you're going to use the 1.38 then you're going to put in the bracket 10.5 bracket and then plus on 5.2 and it's going to give you your VO2 max that way. Once you have those calculated and you have a good idea of where you're at, you're going to pop down to the chart and we're going to have a look to see what your age category is like and what level you rank in. So let's take for example the 10.5 for the male and we say it's between mid 20s and he's got a VO2 max of 30.15. So the 30.15 will put him in the fair category. So he's just underneath the average person, but not too far off. So he needs a little bit of work on the VO2 max. So his fitness is a little bit down, but it's gonna give us a good level of where he's at and where he is starting at today. So check yours out, get the calculation in there, find what number you're at, and then check out through the gap, see what number you're at, and take note of that number, see what level you're at, and then you're gonna compare yourself to this in the future. If you do it again every three months, every six months, it's up to yourself. Any questions on this one, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you did. Was it as easy as you thought? Was it harder than you thought? Are you as fit as you thought you were? Or do you need to focus on getting some work done and increasing that VO2 max?